Hi everyone! A while ago I had a wander around some charity shops and I picked up a couple of absolutely stunning ornaments here. This one's I think a wall hanging and I paid three dollars for that which is still a bit pricey really but I also found kind of almost matching with the flowers a tiny little heart-shaped trinket box and that was a dollar still got that on that's velvet so I'll have to peel that off I don't think I would probably display these in my house as they are they're pretty gormless they're pretty old-fashioned looking and clearly mass-produced I just noticed now that this is hands holding each other so maybe this is almost a religious piece I don't know but I thought I would paint them up and make them look a bit more my style and hopefully I will get something that I would actually have in my house. I'll be starting out with black decorative primer. This stuff is really fantastic. It's an acrylic base paint. It dries really really matte. It goes on quite thickly so you really only need one sometimes two layers but it's fantastic stuff. I use this all the time for painting things and what I will do first with these so I'm just going to wipe everything down to take off any dirt and grease off my hands and I'm not going to worry about sanding them they're quite coarse textured already so I think the paint will sit it might be a bit dodgy there but whatever <laughs> I'm too lazy to sand it I hate sanding things so I'm going to paint everything black when in doubt paint it black and then we'll start again I'm going to firstly use a couple of cleaning wipes just to take off any dirt and grime and grease from my fingers off the ornaments and that will be a good start. I mean they seem fairly clean anyway but probably is a bit of dirt on there. Ooh, I'll have to give this a rinse as well I think because that is really sudsing up. I'm just covering everything and then I'll let it dry really well and then I can decorate it. So I get into all the nooks and crannies. I'll have to just do one side first, let it dry and then paint the back, the underneath bit later. So I'll lay it down on my sacrificial piece of paper which I've already got black paint all over. This is just a bit of printer paper, so I will, actually I might paint the inside first, that would be the smart thing to do. Yeah, the inside's a bit more smoother than the outside, so that might need a second coat in a bit, but that's okay. I'll get a base coat down, and then I'll go over it again. What a mess. <laughs> ah, you really do need to make sure you've got newspaper down or something, something down that doesn't matter if it gets paint on it. And I definitely also recommend wearing gloves. This glove is one of the ones I used for decorating my paint box with the alcohol inks. I figured it was still fine, the alcohol won't mix with the acrylic paint. And I like to reuse gloves a few times before I throw them away because I just hate throwing stuff away all of the time. And at the moment, gloves and things are in really short supply, so I'm basically just keeping stuff as long as I can before it needs to be thrown away in case I can't get more. It would not be an art project without making a lovely mess. Okay, that I'm going to have to do again. I might just slide that up. Ah, oh, <laughs> what a lovely mess I'm making here. It's rather satisfying actually. This one has really got a lot of little deep crevices and things so it's going to take a while I think. This is a really great paint for putting onto boards if you want to do oil paintings. I use it quite a lot actually. Also just to decorate the back of the painted board so it's a nice matte black rather than say an ugly chipboard brown. <laughs> I might have to get a tiny brush and put it into the spaces underneath I'm putting a fairly liberal layer on 
as you can see so it's probably going to take a good amount of time to dry so I expect this is going to take me a couple of days to finish oh I like it already that looks so evil this is going to dry a lot matter than this this is, just looks glossy because it's very very wet at the moment this brush that I'm using is my gesso brush I think I've put a, enough paint on this for now I know there's still spaces what I'm going to do is let this dry and then I'm going to get a small brush and go in all those tiny little areas that I've missed it's it's just every time I touch it I'm taking paint off so I'll let this stuff dry and then I'll come back and do the finessing touches also I need to paint the bottoms of it that has got a bit too much paint on it now I'm looking at it all right very very messy coming back later here are my two pieces that I've painted black they look better already in my opinion but they do look a bit gothic look at this one this one could you imagine just hanging this like that I think I will definitely add some color to them I'm going to go with some sparkly paints that I have well a metallic sheen paint that I have these are Prima Marketing Art Alchemy Metallic Acrylic Paints. I mean, how cute are these little jars? got these a while ago. They were on sale at a store that no longer exists. So I grabbed a bunch of them. I don't want to do everything red. I think I'm going to paint these ones with a red colour. This is red wine, maybe. I'll go through my colours and see what I have. And I'll, I'll pick a few pots out to do these. I'll do them one at a time. Okay, I'll start with this little one first. I've gone for Romance Pink, Red Wine, and a little bit of Coral Reef. I think having a mix of colours will be quite nice. I might add a little bit of green for the leaves as well. These are quite runny paints, but you can see they have a nice sheen to them. I'll set this one aside to dry for now because there's not much else I can do with it while it's this wet so I'll just put it up here out of the way and I'll make a start on this one now for this one I thought I would go with cooler colors so I've got blues and purples in this one and I might paint the leaves green again so that they kind of match in that respect so that you know that I did these at the same time.
to let this one dry for a while. Gently move that out the way. And this one's pretty much dry, so I shall finish it off. Now, I am going to choose some of this, which is a, a metallic wax. I think I want vintage gold. I think I want to keep it. I might add a little bit of white gold too. Oh, I've got rose gold. <gasps> so many decisions. Maybe I'll add a little bit of rose gold as well. Oh, well that's good. brilliant, isn't it? All right. I've got a very, very strong perfume, these waxes. Now you can apply them with a brush, but I think it's just easy to apply them with your fingers. Sorry if I made everything blurry then. So these, once they're dry, are pretty much permanent. And I think they're really great for going over the edges of things. So my fingers are pretty filthy anyway, so I'll add to it by putting a little bit on my finger and rubbing it over just the edges of the lace like that. You can see how that just brings up the lace. I th think I want to go with the vintage gold over the top. I might do a layer of rose gold first and then go vintage gold over it and just see what I end up with. made a bit of a mess out of that. It's all over my hands. The other one is still a bit wet. I will need to wait for that to dry and in the meantime I think I will wash my hands and start afresh because I'm just getting more and more covered in metallic paints. And now this is dry. I'm going to get the old silver metallic wax out because I think the silver will look really nice on the purple. This is my favourite one. I really love the silver. I've covered other things with it. But it's getting a little bit dry. I haven't used it for a while, but I'll have to work it a bit. Okay, so I somehow managed to not record. I'm sure I hit the button. For some reason, it's a bit temperamental today, and every so often does not want to hit record. But as you can see, I've covered the flowers and the leaves with a layer of silver. The silver is definitely my favourite. It just really, really shines so brightly. It's such a pretty colour. And here we are with two finished made-over charity shop ornaments. Are they an improvement? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. You might just think that they're even worse than what they were before. But that's okay. You are perfectly entitled to your opinion. I had fun making them. I mean, really, they are still a bit tacky looking, but this one I'm thinking of adding a little piece of velvet in the bottom. If I can find some. At the moment I don't have any, and getting to the shops, obviously, at the moment is not really conducive to a good time, so I'll just leave it as it is. I think I quite like this, how it came out. It looks really vintage, and I mean, obviously... Sometimes you really can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. I'm not too sure about these hands. I maybe should have left them black, but I felt like the whole thing needed to be metallic, so there we go. Well, I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you enjoyed watching, and maybe it gave you some ideas and inspired you to find some old ornaments around your own home. At the moment, I don't know if you can get out to charity shops, but if you can't, see what you've got around the house, paint it up, make it look pretty, and give it a second lease on life. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll swatch you later. Bye!
here we go it's hanging on the wall in my studio